The final episode of Liv and Maddie aired all the way back in 2017, but we're still discovering secrets about the Disney Channel show. So you know how I play both Liv and Maddie. We've got 10 behind the scenes secrets from this twintastic series. Keep watching to find out which secret dove Cameron managed to hide from producers until her very last day on set. It's not really Maddie, it's Liv. <laughs> The entire premise of Liv and Maddie is about two twin sisters reconnecting and learning to live together again. But would you believe that they were never supposed to be twins in the show? The entire concept for Liv and Maddie was completely different at first. Dove Cameron was actually cast in a different role, and she was only supposed to play one character. Originally, the series was supposed to be more about a blended family. It was intended to be a show similar to The Brady Bunch or Step by Step, but for a new generation. Ultimately, Disney decided to take a new direction. Blended family shows are always popular, so they wanted to be innovative. But if it wasn't about the twin sisters Liv and Maddie, what was it going to be called? The original title was Bits and Pieces. We're glad that they went the direction they did. Mom, you stole my face! I had it first! Liv and Maddie was a fresh take. There had never been a show where twins were separated for a few years and then reunited and forced to get along as teens. This unique concept kept the show feeling new for all four seasons. It's sort of like One Direction, but for old ladies. <laughs> like most Disney Channel shows, Liv and Maddie episodes usually ran for around 25 minutes, but it took a lot longer to film one episode. In fact, at the beginning of the series, one episode took a full week to shoot, but soon they got it down to an art. A typical Liv and Maddie episode took two full days to film, Every single thing that I do in my career going forward will be in reference to this show. A lot goes into filming any show. They had to do multiple takes of each shot to get it right. Actors might forget their lines. There are set changes that had to get set up, and everyone needed to change costumes and get their hair and makeup touched up. But one of the main reasons it took so long was because Dove Cameron played two characters. She had to shoot each scene that had Liv and Maddie in it twice. Additionally, it wasn't easy to switch characters. It took Dove two whole hours to swap looks. Imagine the days that she had to do that more than once. That had to be exhausting. It can be hard because, you know, you wake up before there's really time to do anything else, and then when you get home, you want to go straight to sleep. A Disney Channel set is always an exciting place, but one day in particular was extra exciting for the cast of Liv and Maddie. One little known fact is that a super secret wedding took place. It was so secret that even the bride didn't know what was going on. When we got married before, um, first time, first. I uh, wore a um, um, wire for the filming. Betsy Sullinger was an executive producer of Liv and Maddie. Being a TV producer is a pretty demanding job, but she loves it. However, she couldn't get work off for her 25th wedding anniversary. So her husband, Chambers Stevens, took things into his own hands. He plotted with their friends on and off the set to surprise her with a second wedding. Chambers and their son, Twain, sneaked on set. Betsy thought that they were filming something for the gag reel. She was so shocked when she came on set and saw her husband. Two friends posed as bridesmaids and clipped a veil on her hair. Then the director, Andy Fickman, performed a very short, very funny vow renewal service. Chambers did such a good job, he even matched what his wife was wearing that day. But after the wedding, it was back to business as usual. I was very, very surprised. And I think it will show up on camera. Yeah. There's no doubt that Dove Cameron is a great actor, and her time on Liv and Maddie proves it. She was so believable as two different characters. Some people thought that the show starred an actual set of twins. Dove did such a great job at playing both roles that even her fellow castmates got confused. Let the cloning begin. 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 There were times that the cast and crew weren't sure whether she was being Liv, Maddie, or Dove. It has to be weird to have multiple personas, and we can only imagine how confusing it would be for everybody else. However, Dove always knew exactly which role she was in. She had some sneaky little tricks to help her stay in the correct character. Stay tuned to find out what they were. We're gonna do what any good elf would do. We go out there and we take presents away from children. 
Here's a popular question. If Maddie and Liv are two people and Dove is only one person, how on earth did they film? More often than not, Liv and Maddie were on set together. They had whole conversations in every episode. What do you want for Christmas? I don't know, Liv, I can't think about Christmas. It's like 90 degrees. It just took a little cinematic magic to make it happen. When the show first aired, Disney gave Dove an option. They could use green screens and have someone hold up a mask when she needed to interact with the other twin. They also said that there could be nothing there and they could record her voice for the other lines. But Dove insisted on having body doubles. To get the feel of each character, she needed to look in someone's eyes. Emmy Buckner and Shelby Wolfert were her body doubles throughout the show. The body doubles were also useful when they needed to film Liv and Maddie close together. If you saw the back of one of the twins' heads, it was probably their double. But when we needed to see both twins' faces, some fancy cinematography came into play. There was a stationary camera instead of a moving one, so the screens were the same. The actor stayed on different sides of the set and couldn't cross invisible lines. Dove Cameron would say her lines, switch roles, and film it all over again. But this time, she would be on the other side of the set. These shots were merged in post-production. You guys thinking what I'm thinking? Let's do it. Oh yeah. Movie magic is one of the best parts of show business. With a camera, a computer, and a few tricks, TV shows can pull off some impressive illusions. Sometimes these things are advanced to CGI, other times it's simply a realistic set. Snarf, growl, howl. That's exactly the case in Liv and Maddie. There were plenty of scenes in the show that were filmed outside, including several in the family's backyard, but most of these scenes weren't shot outdoors. The backyard was just another set inside of the studio. Technically, the great outdoors is really inside a soundstage. You can still play basketball in here. We were shocked when we learned that the studio wasn't real. But it's a lot easier to keep everything on the show contained in one studio. Plus, they didn't have to worry about the weather. They could shoot a sunny scene even if it was storming outside. We wonder if any of the scenes outside of the main set were real. What secret tidbit of information did Dove Cameron hide from everyone on set? Keep watching to find out. I take basketball very seriously, so I'll take that! We love the costumes from Liv and Maddie. After she came from Hollywood, Liv had a quirky, vibrant style. Dove described it as Barbie meets third grader, but somehow she managed to pull it off. Dove even got to wear not one, but two awesome wardrobes on the show. It was one of her favorite parts. She loved watching Maddie's style evolve. Just remember, all you gotta do is wear it the way that you wanna wear it. Early on, Maddie wears really simple, plain clothes, but as she grows as a character, her style shifts into something more mature and daring. Not only were there double costumes, but there were double wigs as well. Liv and Maddie had different wigs that matched Dove's hair. Why didn't her hair just get styled differently each time? Dove has said it was an important part of switching characters in her mind. She was able to get into character when the new wig went on. In upcycling, there are no rules. You get to take whatever you want and make it your own. It can be hard to grow up in the public eye, especially as a Disney Channel star. Disney wants its young stars to have a certain persona on and off camera. Dove opened up to Teen Vogue about these challenges when the show was in its final season. Dove is a naturally positive person, but apparently people would accuse her of being fake. That was hurtful, but she didn't stop from being herself can sometimes be really overwhelming for me. Getting photographs is, it causes anxiety. People thought that because she played goofy blonde characters, she was unintelligent. That couldn't be further from the truth. But Dove says that she has to work at being happy and it's not always easy. In 2017, she was excited about branching out. She said she hopes to play some edgier characters because she's naturally drawn to them. We've also seen her blossom as a musician since she left Disney Channel. Liv and Maddie was important to her and she considers the cast to be her family. But we're excited to see where she goes in the future. Okay, well Liv, you have thoroughly ruined that game. <laughs> 
when Disney Channel launches a new show, it's pretty much guaranteed that it won't have more than three seasons. Only a handful of shows have ever gotten a fourth season. The first was That's So Raven. Others include Wizards of Waverly Place and Hannah Montana. So when Liv and Maddie was renewed for a fourth season, it was a huge deal. They became the seventh show to ever have a fourth season. It also became the only four season show to lose a major cast member in the final season. You are still in huge trouble, but we're on board. Benjamin King, who played their dad, only appeared a few times in season four. His character stayed in Wisconsin for a coaching job while the rest of the family went to California. Whenever major characters have left Disney series before, they were never renewed for a fourth season. But Liv and Maddie was still a hit, even without Benjamin as a regular. You're signing up for a sports team. Oh, I thought this day would never come. When Dove found out she was playing twins, she knew she needed to play each character differently. She took this down to the tiniest detail, and she kept it a secret until the show wrapped. Dove made Liv left-handed, while Maddie was right-handed. Did she do it just to see if anyone noticed? Did it help her switch the characters in her mind? We aren't sure, but it sure was clever. You don't think we accidentally wrapped it, do you? When filming ended, she dropped the big secret to the showrunners. They were all shocked. They went straight to the editing room to see if she was telling the truth. As many times as they had seen the footage, they had never noticed. They talked to the props department too. All of the notebooks had different handwriting, depending on whether it was Liv's or Maddie's. That just shows how dedicated Dove is as an actor. She's also very sneaky. Are you more of a Liv or a Maddie? Let us know in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time on The Things.